Um, Berto, you rode Jimson the Dragon first up. You've ridden him in two trials and a piece of work since then. Has he come on from that run? Yeah, actually, he's doing uh, he's doing very well at the moment. He's um, bring up uh, his uh, preparation we do last time with him. He was quite good and um, it's getting better and better. Um, he's a bit more relaxed now, so I think the 1200 should do him should do him better. First time to Happy Valley under race conditions, but you rode him there in a trial. Did he feel good to you? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I didn't didn't have any problem with the track. Um, it turns okay around there. Uh, that's why we decided to go there. This the first start was quite good, actually. Um, even that there was the, the track was a little bit wet, which he, he, he been like it a little bit. So um, we got a nice draw. The horse is well. He's like I say, he's doing very well at the moment. Opposition is not easy, but he's a horse that's capable of winning that race. And you mentioned the opposition in the race too. One of those is super lucky, an interesting horse, stable transfer. You rode him in his last two runs. What do you think of him? Yeah, he's. Probably the horse to beat in the race. Um, um, I've been riding. He was a bit disappointed last time, but the horse, uh, in my probably is a horse is gonna be better on the 1650. But on the 1200, if he's a pays on, his horse can run home. Sylvester Eagle Way is going really well at the moment. You've developed a, a strong association with this horse this season. What's the key to getting him to perform at his best? Do you think? And he won a great race last time. Maybe things didn't go in his way. You know. Um, it was a very fast tempo early on and they slowed down and he just got caught for like flat foot, you know. But, uh, you know, now it's a different scenario, going to back to Happy Valley. He has one on the course, so the expectation is very big. And, you know, of course, we've got time warp out there and, you know, Zach is a top rider and then he rides to a course very well. But uh, we're trying to put our best and we will give our best in the night, you know. Since the Vars, you've ridden him in a trial, he won that trial. How does he feel that he's come through that race? He feels good and, you know, he feels 100% already. So, but uh, probably to win, we need 110. So, you know, the 10% I need to put on. But uh, it's like they would say, the horse feels great and the horse is in good form. He looked good and I think he's in good spirit. So now we'll, we'll look forward for a big night. Douglas Storm signal, he hasn't done much wrong this season. No, he's... Uh... He's done everything right. His form looks real good and he's been consistent and I think, if anything, he's improved. You beat him last time out on Styling City. You know how good that form is. Yeah, the, he, he actually surprised me in, um, in how well he actually ran. But uh, he has given me a good feel when I've won on him. But that run really did surprise me. Um, it just shows how much he has improved and how much he's enjoying racing at the moment. You rode him in a piece of work on Friday. Were you happy with how he felt? I was happy. It was just to stretch his legs and blow out the cobwebs. So I don't think he could be any fitter than he was from his last run. Um, and as I said, he's a happy horse. And one of the main rivals is Country Star. From what you've seen, he's a young horse. What do you think of him? I think he's an up-and-coming horse, and I think that he's got potential. Um, I think he's he's untapped as yet, and I think he handles the valley better than Shaitan by his from what his form suggests so um, I think he's the horse to beat